This week, the second bomb cyclone weather system in less than a month prompted blizzard warnings from the Rockies to the Upper Plains, restricting air travel and raising the prospect of renewed flooding in the already drenched Midwest. Heavy snow in South Dakota, Minnesota, and Wisconsin created life-threatening conditions. While the storm's intensity was forecast to wind down near week's end, authorities say several more inches of snow and relentless winds would be expected across the region. I was coming south. It's getting pretty bad. Everybody's going 35, 40 mile an hour. If anybody's smart, they won't drive. Before the weather event hit, an ice jam caused a bridge collapse in Norman County, Minnesota, as the land of 10,000 lakes readied for more flooding. Rising waters also forced several road closures in neighboring North Dakota midweek. We got a call about a homeowner needing some sandbags. We arrived on scene, assessed their situation, noticed that they could use a couple extra hands, so we volunteered to help them fill in their culvert and get their water situation under control. As the storm was brewing, two EF-1 tornadoes slammed into northeast Alabama, destroying homes and farm buildings. The weather system will leave heavily saturated ground in its wake and is expected to hamper the start of spring planting in some sections of the Corn Belt. For Market to Market, I'm Josh Bittner.